Hey, what is up everybody? Wild for Games here, and today we're diving into one of the most powerful tools inside Streamlabs, Intelligent Streaming Agent Automations. Now, if you've ever wanted your stream to react in real time to what is happening in the game, whether that's just a clutch animation, a win, low health, or one of those big moments, automations make it all happen. So you know what? I'm gonna show you real easily and quickly how to set it up so that way you can start using it by the end of this video. Let's start off with what exactly are automations? Automations are part of the producer functionality of our intelligent streaming agent. They let you connect in-game events to automatic actions in Streamlabs desktop. Kind of think of them as if this happens in the game, then do this on stream. For example, if you eliminate a player, an automation plays. You win a match, the co-host congratulates. congratulates you. Your health drops low, a warning graphic pops up. Now triggers do vary by game, but reactions are all the same across all of them. Now let's walk through how it works. Now if you want the fastest possible setup, start with templates. You'll see options like Victory Royale, Player Eliminated, Low Player Health, and Enemy Knocked. These are just some of the simple pre-filled versions of the exact same builder. Everything inside of them can be edited or customized or even chained together with additional reactions. All you have to do is just turn on the ones you want, hit complete, and you're ready to go. But if you want full control, let's build a custom automation from scratch. At the top, give your automation a description. Let's just use player elimination. Pick your game, and for this example, I'm just gonna choose Fortnite. Next, choose the event that you just want to react to. For this, I'm going to select Enemy Eliminated. Triggers fire instantly and once per event, so every elimination will activate this automation. Now add your reactions. We're going to tell Streamlabs what to do when that event happens. Just click Add Reaction. Choose Show Source, then select the media file source. Make sure you have already added the media file source in your main Streamlabs desktop sources section. Now, just to let you know, this doesn't have to be a media file. You can also choose a window or display capture, an image or text. However, for this tutorial right here, we're just gonna focus on using media file source. Now, when you add the source, feel free to name it whatever you like. Giving it a clear name will make it easier to select the correct source when you're setting up your automation later on. If your media source in Streamlabs desktop is set to restart playback when source becomes active, the automation will always respect that. So it always plays from the beginning when triggered. When you want the media file to just disappear, add another reaction and select wait. Select the duration to match the length of the media file's source or however long you want the media to stay visible. Then add hide source reaction and select media file source again. And yes, you can start chain reactions. You can play a media source, switch scenes, trigger your co-host to talk and more. The options are almost endless and totally up to you and your creativity. If you want your AI co-host to talk when something happens, then simply add a reaction, select co-host, and pick between comment and instruction. Comments are more for co-host reactions to what happens in the game, and instructions are more for co-host interactions and dialogue. Each co-host line is its own action, so you can pair commentary with visual effects. For example, player eliminated goes to animation fires plus nice co-host says nice up. shot. Nice match goes to Victory Graphic, plus co-host celebrates. For all you new streamers out there, co-hosts can help fill those, let's just say, quiet moments that might happen on your stream. But experienced streamers who don't want it on screen can still use all the producer features without displaying the co-host. Now we have to finalize the automation. Once your trigger and reaction are all set, click Create Automation. You'll see it listed in your automation panel. You can turn it on or off, edit it or delete it at any time. And that's it. Your intelligent streaming agent will now automatically react in real time to all your gameplay moments. Pretty sweet. The intelligent streaming agent uses a simple usage-based model. Free users get 100 total interactions, up to five automations, access to the co-host avatar, and all producer and tech support features. Streamlabs Ultra members expand that with a thousand interactions per month, support up to 10 automations, giving creators room for more customization and automations that they can have on their streams. 
Powered by Streamlabs AI, at the core of intelligent streaming agent is Streamlabs AI, a fast real-time version model that understands what's just happening on your stream and it responds intelligently. Now, if you're actually a developer out there, you can actually build on this same technology to create new experiences for streamers. If you're interested, I've actually included a link down in the video description below where you can learn more. If you've just ever wanted to make your stream feel more alive, more reactive, and just more fun for your audience, automations are a great way to do so. Play around with them, try them in just different combinations. Come up with something super creative that's just gonna make your reaction fit the style of your stream and gameplay. Now, if you found this video helpful, you can do me a huge favor. Go down below, hit like, subscribe, and leave us an awesome comment, and we will see how we can help you in future videos. Wild wishing the best of luck, and I'm always gonna be here to make you bigger and better with Streamlabs. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.